This is James Holder for iPhone TV in association with Matt, Jim Marbao. I'm at the City of Kevin Tate in Bristol. With me, I've got Dwayne Winters after his first professional win. How, how did you find it, mate? Um, tough, very tough. Uh, could he have 58 fights? So it was um, during one in front of me. Yeah, it was a tough fight tonight. One on points, uh, 49 points to 37, but yeah. it was a very tough fight against a game opponent. Do you think you learned more in this fight than you did over your, your previous two victories? Um, yeah, I've learned a lot in this fight. Um, to keep my hands up mainly, to not get caught by the wild <laughs> swing and that. Yeah. But um, towards the end of the fight, I um, I learned pretty well, to be honest. Yeah. Sometimes you look at some of these kids' records, like Anfadi, he's a lot better than what his record would suggest he actually is. He's so game and he fights on the road. That's his job, to come and be the away fighter sort of thing. Did yeah, you expect him to be as good as he is? No, I didn't expect him to be that good. He, um, he, went, he, was, a, he was a jabber, he jabbed as well, he boxed yeah. a lot. And uh, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting him to come in and have a war like and yeah. me just to pick him off. But he, he completely fought the, uh, the right game plan, but obviously he didn't pull it off on the night. Yeah. And, I got bit, and I was victorious. Once again. What do you feel worked well for you in there? Do you feel certain things work better than others? Uh, my jab. My jab worked well in there. It, um, if I didn't have a good jab, I think I would, I think I would have got beat tonight if my jab weren't working. You have got a cracking jab, I've got to say, the one. Yeah, okay. it's just um, in the first round, I didn't use it as much, hmm. but um, I knew he was going to be wild. So um, I stepped up the last three rounds and tried, uh, tried putting three, four shots together so he couldn't come back with that swing. Hmm. Third professional victory for yourself in the Super Bantamweight division. Great division, the Super Bantamweight division. It's thriving with talent at all sort of levels. How far do you think it is before we see you moving up the rounds and getting into some, some bigger fights? Um, after, after this performance, it went a great great performance for, uh, for myself. Um, so another couple of fights at um, four rounds, maybe six rounds. But uh, if, if not, then uh, yeah, it take a couple of fights to get up to the next level. Yeah. Do you feel you can you can sort of do eight to ten rounds at the moment, or is it a case of you need that experience to push yourself onto that next bit? Um, yeah, I need to experience to push yourself to the next um, level. But uh, what one more fight, uh, four rounds, and then uh, hopefully win that one in uh, up it next year, halfway through next year, and get up to six rounds. Hopefully, seen some good fights as I mentioned in the Super Bantamweight division. One that's been made no bigger, obviously Scott Quigg taking on Carl Frampton. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, my thoughts is, um, well, they're both world-class fighters, and hopefully, um, well, I'll be in, be in with the top-level fighters one day. If you had to pick a winner in that fight, who would you favour? Scott Quigg. Scott Quigg, I reckon he'd, he'd win the fight. Um, if Frampton boxes, I think he could win it, but it depending on the day. But Frampton likes a little bit of a war as well, so I favour him Quigg at the moment. Do you dream about being in them sort of fights and having that sort of media attention? Yeah, I do. I, I dream of being in them fights, and hopefully, like two or three years' time, I'll have a, um, a title shot, whether it's a, a, an English, a Commonwealth, or a, a British, and mm. just keep winning at the moment. And hopefully, one day I'll get there soon with the top boys. Am I right in thinking that's you now? After Christmas, you'll be back in action. Little break over Christmas period, then straight back out January, February time. Yeah, that's it. I'll, I'll have a break over Christmas uh, with my family and that, and sit down, have a chat with the trainers and. Uh, the, with a matchmaker, Chris Saniger, and uh, we'll see what happens in, the, in, the, in well next year. It hopefully, probably be March again, um, and I'm looking forward to it. What's Chris Saniger like? Is he as crazy as he comes across sometimes on the channel? Um, yeah, he is. He's crazy. Yeah, even in the, even in the ring, then he said, "What are you doing? Like after the first round, you lost the first round. Come on, you got to you got to give it your all the next three rounds and win this fight. Like you could yeah. do it easy, but yeah, he is crazy. He always says what's on his mind, Chris Saniger, and with no ifs or buts. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's that's what you like. That's what you got to have as a manager. And someone's in the corner. You got you got to want it, ain't you? You got to want it, just like he does. Listen, congratulations on getting the W tonight. I hope, I hope it was a good fight for you. We enjoyed it. And uh, we look forward to seeing you out again real soon. It's great to get you on the channel. Nice one, Dwayne. Yeah, thanks a lot, mate. And uh, I'll see you next year. Have a good Christmas.